Welcome back to Sound 101. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones, and today we are going to sync up audio via the waveforms in Adobe Premiere. Well, I've already got my screen capture going for my editing computer right here, and we've got Premiere pulled up. Let's import our footage. So we've got our two files. We've got one, which is our 1DX, and two is coming off the HDTX audio recorder which you can go purchase over at ddmic.com. So we've imported our audio. Let's take our 1DX footage. We're gonna drag this down to the new icon down here. There it is, it gives us a brand new sequence that matches the sequence settings to whatever the codec was used in the camera. In this case, we use the 1DX, so it's gonna match everything that the 1DX shot. But you can see audio waveforms on this are not great. They're barely there. If I were to hit play on this, you can see uh, yeah, there's not a lot of audio there. We probably recorded on the 1DX way lower than we should, or the fact that the 1DX is like 10 feet away from me right now, and I'd have to scream in order to get a decent level over on that camera. And that's kind of where this comes into play is I'm recording this microphone into a separate audio recorder that I can then sync up. So all I'm gonna do is take my audio I recorded on the HETX, that was the microphone that is much closer, as you can see in the shot, there's a microphone and I'm going to highlight both of them by dragging and highlighting everything I want synced up. Right click, you go up to synchronize, and you'll notice I've got over here toggled on audio, and I want it to synchronize based on channel one, okay? So that's kind of my master. And you could even do some inverse. If you did a really long record, but a lot of small records, you'd still want the master files to be synced up. So we're gonna hit okay. This is going to process. Let me bring this window down in here so you guys can see what's going on. It says processing one of two. It's going to do all this and it's really, really quick. And as you can see, we are now in perfect sync and the file much later in the audio recording, there's probably another file here that we just didn't import because this is the take we actually wanted to keep. This was the take we didn't really care about. So now to check to see whether or not this is in sync, let's actually give it a little watch for a second. My turn. There we go. We can see my mouth is completely in sync with the footage. So as you can see though, we've now got good audio synced up and it's better than the bad audio, but we still have the bad audio on our timeline. The very simple process is if you're going to keep all your audio kind of in these kind of track configurations, just hit mute on this whole track and it's completely gone. You don't have to ever worry about it. The other thing you can do is you can actually do right click unlink click on the bad one so i'm going to delete it right there and then what you can do is highlight both of them again right click and then link them up and that way you never have to worry about this ever again and you don't have to worry about that muting of track one so that is two ways to get rid of your bad audio and one really awesome way to sync your audio without having to worry about like trying to track the claps and all that kind of stuff this software really does a lot of the heavy lifting for you that wraps it all up for us if you like this kind of content please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications we post brand new tutorials like this one every single week if you've got a topic that you want us to do in future episodes drop it down in that comment section below we go down there all the time to pull ideas for future videos. Don't forget to check us out at all other social media platforms. We're on Instagram, we are on TikTok and Facebook. So go check us out. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones and thank you for watching.